what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to the fourth required JS tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to program configuration file in required JS so here's our configuration file and as I told you that this file would be the base file for your required JS application and all of the instructions you want to send to required JS library can be found here so to start with just write requiredjs.config and all of that stuff comes off from this library as you can see same keyword we are making use of here so requiredjs.config and the next thing I want to do is I want to write a base URL because obviously I won't like every JavaScript when I want to load them to have like URL like this public HTML www or whatever la 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 whatever it is so you provide a base URL once and then all of your JavaScript would make use of the base URL first and then their path supplied so for now as you can see inside the JS folder I'm making use of these one two three four five JavaScript files so I'll just write the JS here because that is the base URL directory which I want to use for example if I had JS libraries new then I'll make use of something like this JS libraries new and like that so for now I'll just make use of the JS and the next thing I want to do is I want to set up what libraries I'm gonna use or what scripts I'm gonna use with this required JS so with the use of the paths I can make use of that and then write first of all let's just write angular and this angular is the name which will be making use of in define in required JS which will be taking a look later so for now let's just write angular as angular dot min dot JS um, what we have the next x core x core dot JS then we have jQuery jQuery dot min dot js and you know you get the idea that how this is working moo tools dot min dot js and if I hadn't write this base URL as js what I have to do is I have to write every single file something like this but by default since I have written this as js as the base URL I don't need to write anything except that you are just making use of this same directory that I'm just telling that require just just make use of this directory and you'll file all of these files here and one thing I have done wrong here is that I guess I have put this these JS extensions so if you remember that I told you that you don't need to worry about these JS extensions because required JS would automatically consider all of these as JavaScript files so just omit those if you have put them by mistake so the next we have got is SWF object and for that SWF object and no JS so yeah so that's pretty much it for our files and so one thing I want to tell you more is that you can make use of a CDN as well inside your path so let's say I want to have a CDN for this jQuery so I'll put this in an array and what I'll do is I'll first of all here load the jQuery CDN and let's just make use of the angular CDN instead just, just get rid of that and making use of angular CDN would be something like that and again just get rid of this JS yeah in the absolute URLs as well so you know required JS would just take care of that so what happens now is that angular since it is being fetched from two resources require would first of all fetch the first resource that is the CDN URL and if in some cases it fails to load your angular JS from this page like 
your you know just the computer of the user has some DNS settings or the ISP has blocked some URLs or whatever the reason is or maybe Google is down <laughs> well whatever then it would load the second which is the local copy of your um, angular file and you can just have a more uh, another URL right here which is another CDN and then you can write your um, file name or you can have a lot of CDNs so you know that would work as well so for now I'm just making use of this angular dot min dot js and no js and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for our configuration file for now and uh, let's get back to our 4.html and then what I want to do is I have access to all of these libraries now in my code and obviously they are not loaded at all by now so I'm just gonna create another script here let's just say folder custom scripts and inside here I want to create a file which would be uh, let's just say um, jQuery file dot js and uh, inside here I want to make use of the jQuery file so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write custom scripts and jQuery file now notice that after I have loaded this config.js the base URL is automatically JS so I don't need to add another JS slash custom scripts jQuery file this would work only because we are already inside this JS folder so if I reload this page the 4 1 before require keyword what was that okay so I guess I had this left out so as you can see that we have four files loaded right here the first one is the document then this required JS which is manually hooked up by us then this configuration file which is called here or here wherever you like to say then we have this jQuery file which is called upon here so yeah so yeah so this file is currently empty now right now and what I'm, I want to use jQuery in here so to make use of that I'll be demonstrating that how to make use of jQuery because it's not just simple as that because as you can see jQuery is still not loaded here though we have that ready in our configuration file so how do we make use of that so we'll be looking at that in the next tutorial and that's all for this one and if you like then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.